Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a kinetic typography or kinetic text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. Okay, inside Premiere Pro, the first thing I'll do is to create text by hitting onto the type tool and create text on the program monitor, which will be text animation. Of course, it will be text animation. Then I'll press escape and V, make the text a little bit bigger. Also place it at the center of the program monitor. Then I'll go to the timeline, click onto the text layer, hold Alt or Option and duplicate it twice like that. And I will click onto the desktop layer, go up to effects and type down offset. I'll grab the effect and drop it onto the top text layer, then go to the effect control panel, click onto the offset, hold shift and hit twice the right out of the keyboard. Then I'm going to create keyframe onto the shift center 2 by clicking onto the stopwatch and again hold shift, move 10 frames forward. But this time I'm going to change the value to 272 and when I play it, we've got this animation so far, but it looks a little bit slow and not so smooth. So I'll select the second keyframe, right button of the mouse, temporal interpolation and ease in. So let's play it again and that looks much better. Then I'll grab the cursor and move it to around over here. While the second keyframe is still selected, I'll press Ctrl and C to copy it and then Ctrl and V to place it over there. Then I'll move another 10 frames forward and bring back the values to the original one. So now when this is done, I'll go back to effects and from here I'm going to type down echo, drag it and drop it onto the top layer. And from here I'll go back to effect control panel, select the echo, move the cursor to between the first and the second keyframe so we can see what's going on onto the program monitor. Now I'm going to change a few of those values over here. The first value I will change is the echo time, which from negative 0.0. 033 i'll go to 0.085 enter then i'll change the number of echoes from one to seven we will leave the starting intensity to one and i'll change the decay from one to 0.80 also i'll change the echo operator from add to minimum and by the way you're free to copy all of these values but also you can use whatever values you like for your animation. So now when we create this, what I would do is to duplicate the top text layer by holding Alt and then drop it onto the bottom layer. Then I'll select the bottom layer, go to Offset, and I'll go to the second keyframe. And what I'll do, I'll change the value. I'll go up to 791, it looks all right. Then I'll click on that keyframe, Control and C, move to the third keyframe and Control and V. So the next thing I'll do is to change the color of those texts. So first I'll select the middle text layer, go to Accessory Graphics, select the text layer and from appearance I'll change the fill color from white to golden yellow and I'll hit on OK. Then I'll select the top layer, again Accessory Graphics, and this time I'll disable the fill option and enable the stroke option and I'll leave it white with value 2 and the stroke will be outer. You can change it to inner or center. Then I'll do exactly the same with the bottom layer but I think that I'll change the stroke stroke color to purple. I like the purple color. And what I'll do next, I'll select all of those layers, bring them up like that, go to my project panel, grab this video, drop it at the bottom and let's see what we have created. Wow, to be honest it looks really good and as you can see it's so easy to create kinetic typography or kinetic text animation, call it as you like. In Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed and if you did so please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.